Grade 8 math number 12.3a, the Pythagorean theorem in a coordinate plane. We can find the distance between two points on a coordinate plane by drawing a line segment that connects the two points and a right triangle with that segment and its hypotenuse. Then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. So if we've got two points, one here and one here, we can connect the two points with a line segment and then make a right triangle horizontal and vertical lines here. See that? So we've got point 1 and 3. See that? 1 and 3. And then negative 1, negative 1. What's the distance between these two points to the nearest tenth of an inch? So we need to know this distance right here. So what we do is we find the length of each leg. We count this we see there's one, two, three, four units here and one, two units here, so A is going to be two and B is going to be four. See that? That's the horizontal leg and the vertical leg. We need to find the hypotenuse. We need to find C, the distance between those two points with the line segment, so we use the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to use the rise and the run as legs of the triangle. See? Here's the rise and here's the run. So if we've got two squared plus four squared equals C squared, that means 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. We've got 4 plus 16, that's 20. So 20 is C, and we need to take the square root of both sides. So we have to figure out what times what equals 20. Well, I know 4 times 4 is 16, but that's too small. I tried 4.5 times 4.5, and I got 20.25. And that's pretty close to the nearest tenth, 20.2, right? Because to the nearest tenth would take off that 5, wouldn't it? Because 2 is in the tenths place. So that means it's approximately 4.5 would be C, okay? Approximately 4.5 is C. That's its length, 4 and a half inches. Now, we can check to see how reasonable 4.5 is by finding perfect squares close to 20. As I said, 4 squared is 16, well 5 squared is 25. So, the square root of 20 is between Square root of 16 and the square root of 25. See? It's going to be right in the middle there. It's going to be right in between these two. So that means the square root of 20 is greater than 16 but less than 25. The square root of 20 is greater than 4 and less than 5. And because 4.5 is greater than 4 and less than 5, the answer is reasonable. So the hypotenuse is about 4.5 inches long. Now remember, it's about 4.5 inches long because we rounded it to the nearest tenth. Remember? Okay, we're going to talk about how to find the distance between any two points in the next video, and that'll be 12.3b. I hope I'll see you there. I'm hoping that this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay. I'll see you. Bye.